Hi everyone, it's Shanna again. I am coming to you today with some journal me spots that I'm doing for the Your Paper Pantry swap this month. Uh, we were to use Americana paper from Kay and Company. And I uh, actually signed up for two spots because I have a son in the Navy and so I use a lot of patriotic paper. So this year, this time, I uh, took in die cut from the Tim Holtz die just some red cardstock and embossed it with my Cuddlebug Stars folder. I took a little label punch and punched out some of the paper and put the little tags from the um, embellishments that you can buy that go with the paper line. I took and made some little uh, ribbon rosettes out of just strips of paper that were an inch wide, then scored them half an inch each, made an accordion, glued them together. Um, there's lots and lots of videos on how to make those. Used some of the more of the trim from the embellishment line to put in the middle. Uh, the other side, I just used some vintage flag paper that I think I got at Hobby Lobby in the single sheets. I also, for the journaling spot, because you could put a picture on either side of these, I cut out a little uh, firecracker from my Cricut uh, Stand and Salute cartridge and figured you can journal on the back side of that. And that just kind of fits in the little pocket there. The second one, I made just kind of an open card. Um, I took 12 inch paper, cut it at 3 inches, and then scored it just a little bit under uh, four inches on each side so that it would fold close and figured you could put pictures or journal this paper is part of the 12 by 12 sheets use some of the little banners made some tiny little ribbon roses just like it's half an inch strips um, bought some little stickers that went along with this line of paper and put those for the buttons and put a little banner on the side now my third one I just made a pocket um, just really folded it over and glued the edges, took some of the paper and star punched. Now I did leave a gap here so that people can actually um, put a tag there if they wanted to on both sides actually. So that's very versatile there. The little pocket inside I used the made a little tag to go inside and I got this Sizzix die on clearance for like three bucks and puzzle pieces and I thought well what the heck I gotta use it for something so I just puzzle pieced two different parts of the paper together and added the little embellishment from to make the tag holder so that could either go there in the side or go down inside the uh, thing. I packaged each of my um, items in some cello bags that I got off eBay and I just want to show you guys I got these beautiful little cards from um, Vistaprint I, I got 500 for 10 bucks and that was include that was the shipping otherwise they were free it was a nice little thing to be able to put my blog my email and my YouTube address on and I just slipped them in the back side of each of these packages so I don't have to handwrite that stuff so it's very very uh, affordable and saves you lots of time. So thank you. Join us at Your Paper Pantry. Uh, they have wonderful swaps. This is the second or third month I've done this one and it has been wonderful. I look forward to it every month. Thanks so much.